Welcome, welcome, welcome to the Sunday Morning Simulcast with Rom Wills. Appreciate the good people in your life. Appreciate it. And I'm, that's something I'm going to stick on. Just like I talk about talents and gifts and using them, just appreciation. Because like uh, the night before this recording, I had a conversation with a young man and he was uh, saying how his family seemed like they were appreciating what he did for them because he was a true rocket within the family. But he, you know, he had to move out on his own and everything. And now they see and hey, wait, we're missing this young man. That's very important. That's very important. Because a lot of times we all will have that genuinely good person, whether as a lover, whether as a great friend, like they really care about us. But sometimes we take that for granted as a group. We will take that, that really good person as a, uh, for granted. And when I say we, yeah, I'm human. I've been through that too. That was a lesson I learned early on. I was like, you know what? You had that good person there. You didn't appreciate what they were bringing for whatever reason. Look, when you, look, I'm gonna tell you something now. It's tough in the world to really find somebody who really cares about us. Now, I, I limit my cursing on, uh, on Sundays. I, I, that's just my nature. But um, who really gives a sugar honey iced tea about us? How about that? <laughs> Seriously, it, that's tough. Seriously, if we really think about it, yeah, we got people we call our friends. And, you know, we, we have people, we, we call them our friends. They're really acquaintances. Because a true friend, when you're going through something, they're there for you. You know, a true friend is going to give you some tough love because they care for you. A lot of times we just have some people that just happen to be around. Yeah, we can talk with them, laugh with them but they're not really there for us. And even in relationships, we gotta be real about relationships. A lot of people might be in a relationship because it's convenient, uh, just for sex, something. But that person is not good for us. That's why a lot of people have trouble. That's why you have a lot of men and women in some type of therapy. So it's, it's something. But when you find that genuine person who genuinely cares about you, whether it is in a romantic relationship or a true friendship, we need to appreciate them. We need to just say to them, look, even tell them, look, I appreciate you. Because I've seen the instances, I've talked with like over the decades, might have encountered hundreds of people who actually talk about some good person they had in, their, in a relationship, but for a myriad reasons, moved on from them, even cheated on them, even didn't even treat them well and then they feel bad. You know, people who are a true friend to us, and we might have treated them bad because they moved on. And really, the one thing that can really, really do something to you mentally, when that person who's truly been a good person to you, good person to you, transitions to the other side, and you realize, oh, wait a minute, this is what they were bringing. See, one thing about good people, they are there, no matter what. Now, you know, I don't talk about any particular spiritual path because I don't want to unduly influence anyone and different people have different paths. But think about, uh, think about however you choose the terms supreme being, infinite intelligence, God, uh, Allah, whatever, Shango, um, whatever term you want to use. Often, that's a lot of times people don't appreciate that force, that force. And if you don't believe in that at all, I just appreciate that they're good people. We don't appreciate, we don't know, wait a minute, until they're gone. You know, it could be just a cat, you could be in a neighborhood. You could be in a neighborhood. You can live in an apartment, a house or something. You had a really good neighbor, but you didn't really appreciate what they brought until they move and a really bad one comes in. See, it's unfortunate, a lot of times we develop the appreciation when it's too late. We develop the appreciation when we see the opposite of it. Uh, I've known plenty of men and women who had a good mate, had a good mate, a truly good mate who really gave a sugar honey iced tea about them. 
really did. And then, you know, they didn't appreciate them. They moved on. Then they, when they got the bad one, they started looking back. It's that deep. You got to have that appreciation and just show it. I mean, and it don't, it could be just as simple as like, look, I appreciate you. I love you. It could be that simple, you know, remembering their birthday. Sometimes that's all it is, just acknowledgement, validating them. But you have to appreciate because one of the things that we need overall, we need those good people. In the world the way it is now, we need genuinely good people. Because no matter how bad things are, it could be a lot worse. It could be a lot worse. You know, just in so many ways. Those are because those are the hard workers. Those are people who are like I said, they there for you. They there for you. They genuinely care about you. They genuinely accept you. They're not trying to use you. We got to show that appreciation. And that's very important, seriously, because like I said, and especially for those of you who are those rocks, who are those good people, I know, I know how it feels. You're doing everything and someone can't acknowledge what you're doing. I understand. I understand. I'm going to acknowledge you. I don't know you personally, but we need you. I appreciate you. Because that's the one thing. When, these have, when you have enough good people around, it's keeping things from really falling apart. I don't care what it's on, whether it's just in a social environment, whether it's on jobs, or, you know, even, um, you know, there's always something about police officers. There's some genuinely good police officers out there who are really keeping some stuff. I saw a clip of a police officer preventing someone from having a suicide, from jumping off a bridge. You know, we need that. We need that, you know? The good people who just keeping things together, you know, the healers, we need them. People who give of themselves without really getting anything in return, without even getting any fanfare, we need those people. We need to appreciate them. So I want to say for all of you genuinely good people out there, and you, you know you, you are, you feel it. You're not being conceited or anything. I appreciate your presence. I may never meet you face to face, may never know your name, but you're helping society. You're keeping society from really falling apart because no matter what's happening, it could be a lot worse. For those who I've met personally, who've been genuinely good, I appreciate you. And we need to tell that when you, when you stop watching this, tell, tell, just call up that person. Call up that person who's really been there for you and say, I appreciate you. You know, you don't have to say I love you or anything. You're like, I appreciate you. I appreciate your friendship. If you have a truly good mate, tell them that you love them, that you appreciate them. You know, take them out to that fancy dinner. You know, do something nice for them. Show, always show that appreciation. We need it. The good people out there, the rocks out there, the people keeping everything from falling down, they need that. They need it too because they're still human. They still have feelings. You know, we can't have them have their hearts broken. All right? So, that's all I have for now. As soon as you get off of here, I, I really do mean it. Let that person know that you appreciate them, all right? I'm going to be doing that same thing. <laughs> so anyway, I'll talk to y'all. Peace and many blessings.